Well, they're history buffs and those who are following us. We are actually in a steam town in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Why would you go to Scranton, Pennsylvania? Well, that's because that's where Steamtown is at. It's actually a historic site, and uh, we're about to go inside the exhibit and the museum and, uh, well, learn a lot about it. But if you're into trains, I'd say this is probably the place to be. actually a roundhouse. See all the different tracks coming in? <sighs> what an incredible piece of history. We didn't realize it. It's a actual free historic site. You can come in here. There, everything from uh, working on old locomotives to uh, displaying them and telling you how they worked and showing the equipment that goes along with them. There's an hour long tour that basically took an hour and a half. But and he said, I thought you told us that everything had to be done the same way it was done uh, back in the day, when, they, when the engine was around. But uh, we're asked so many questions about, well, it's just a marvelous piece of history. So if you're in the Scranton area, do not hesitate. Come and spend the afternoon here and uh, and learn a little bit about mo locomotive history. We're gonna go out there and look in the yard. We haven't even been out in the backyard yet. We're just gonna go in here and check out the exhibit and head on. business car. <laughs> Some businessmen travel back and forth across the state of New York on it. Here's something you never think about that, you know, for many years, the Postal Service worked right off the railroad train. So this is actually an RPO train, uh, RPO railroad post office. And they would pick up the mail along the track, and sort it out, and deliver it and up and down the train up and down the track it would go delivering and picking up mail the big boy the largest steam engine ever built it was only 24 of them ever made there's only eight still in existence and this apparently is the only one that actually runs. I must admit, a marvelous piece of history. Take your kids, take your grandkids, come yourself, spend an afternoon. You could easily spend a couple hours here, especially if things like trains interest you. But just the American history of this place is overwhelming. Um, anyway. Well, have you watched all the way to the end and gotten to this part? Thank you very much for watching all of it. That really does help the channel grow. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. If I've won your subscription today, please subscribe. And I think you might like that video as a follow-up.